Hi, it's Tracy at Worlds and Swirls Quilting, APQS Ontario. Here's today's design of the day. It's a simple little filler. We're going to do open paisleys. And just echo inside the little shape. So when you come around, we don't actually close the paisley up. We're going to come in, leave it open there, do a little curl on the bottom of it, come in and pop out. Curl around. And we're just going to travel around making this little shape. If you stitched it bigger, it could certainly work as an all over and we could probably stitch it really tiny and it would make a really cool filler design. So it's versatile that way. Reminds me of little fish. Scooch in the ditch. And maybe we'll come this way. Remember echoing and um, bouncing around will put you in a different position in a different direction so they'll sit differently you don't want them all going in the same you know like all sitting in a row so the trick is I know it's your muscle memory probably is that you're going to want to close that up so just remember to leave your space there leave it open so you can get up in there and do that little echo curl in bounce. If I want to come back down and do some down going this way, I just bounce over the entire design until I get to the spot where I want to be. So in answer to Carrie's question, she asked it a couple of days ago, and I'm so sorry. I forgot to answer it. Um, when it comes to batik fabrics, I always use a fresh needle. Uh, batik is, as you know, a lot tighter weave than our regular cottons, and um, it needs a fresh needle. Size-wise, I use a size 4 for just about everything. I have on occasion gone down to a 3.5 if I'm using a 100 weight thread, like Invisifil or... Um, Silk. I don't have a lot of experience with silk thread, but I own a lot of it. I just haven't <laughs> used it. Um, and occasionally I have gone up and used a four and a half if I'm using a thicker thread. But really for the most part, I'm pretty much always with a four. Uh, sometimes on a batik, it may look like it's leaving big holes in your quilt. It's not. They will close. Once the quilt comes off the frame and the fabric relaxes a little bit, um, and definitely after the first time it's washed, those holes will all close and you won't see them. So don't worry that your needle's too big. So I hope that answered the question. Oh, I have no idea. That looks like a fetus. <laughs> Ignore the little one down the bottom. There we go. So that's today's design of the day. I hope I asked, answered the question um, properly regarding the needles. If you have any questions about uh, anything freehand wise, I'll do my best to answer them. Just post your questions in the comments and uh, we'll all learn something. I learn by teaching, so I love it when people ask me questions. You learn just as much teaching others as you do learning from others, if that made any sense. There you go. So that's today's design of the day. I hope you like it. Make sure everyone takes the time to doodle. There you go. It's cute, isn't it? I'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Thanks.